Hi there, good morning. I've been asked by one of my corpies to put together a video for scanning um, and I thought I'd share it. So here we go. First thing you need to do is get yourself to the sun um, and walk to the sun at zero in much of the solar system you're scanning. There's the sun. Um, the second thing you then do is open up your scanner tab and you can put your scanner tab here, get it out of the way. And then you can open up your map. Obviously keeping an eye on local at all times. And what you want to do on map is select, make sure that you've got solar system view selected. This is the standard one that you'll normally get, which is the star view. Change that to solar system map. You can see down here on the control panel, click solar system map, and it gives you the normal one that you would use for scanning. As you can see, there's some sites already in here. Okay, next thing to do is you want to launch your probes. And some people use five probes, some people use four, some people use seven. I prefer to use seven, purely because it just gives me a bigger spread. So, oh, hang on, I'm cloak myself. So, launch your probes, and you'll see straight away you get this come up as your first probe, and then you can launch as many as you're able to carry, depending on your skill level. Get those launched. And one at a time and you can see as you launch them they're all coming up here with the times that they're sitting there and what they're doing which at the moment is idle okay so you've launched your probes whether it be seven whether it be five if it's five follow the next steps if it's seven i'll go on to that after so there's your, there's your probe showing you coverage of the area now all of my probes if you click one shift and highlight them all you can right click and say scan range at 32 you can do less than that but this is just a starter uh, when you first at it so next thing you'll do is spread your probes out because at the moment they're all scanning exactly the same area so highlight one of the arrows until it's blue click and drag it out so it's side by side and then same on the other side and then turn the whole thing around click and turn the whole thing around and drag those out so there you go, you've got five probes there now, obviously the four on the outsides and the one in the middle, all overlapping and covering the area you want to cover. Now, I use seven, and this is just personal preference. Again, click and drag that up. And then sometimes if you're trying to click on the arrows, but there's loads of writing in the way and it's coming up with highlight, move to the other arrow at the other end, and you can still move that one up from either side of the arrow. So you don't have to click the arrow on the relevant side. So I've got my probes like that. Yes, they're all covering, but there's a big area of overlap here. I want to make that a little bit more specific. If you have all your probes too close, they scan the same area, and you don't get a very tight target signature. So I click on one, press the Alt button, and then click and drag, and you see the spread out, and you can see that overlap in the center there getting bigger and smaller. Now, you don't want it too small, so you want them to overlap a little bit, and you're creating that box when you've got five. Or in this case, you've got the, the whole area there that's covering over so you've spread them out a little bit hit your analyze button and i'm just going to move some of these things out of the way okay so there you go look at all those areas that we've picked up and you can see all of the sanchez great for ratting but then you've got these cosmic signatures. Now we can't see what they are. You can see the various different codes. Now I don't know what those codes are. You can look. It shows you the distance, but it doesn't show you what they are. Now I'm looking for a large belt. You can see these red dots. If you get these red dots, these relate to these. Now the most important thing is if you want to focus on one individual site, the best thing to do is to click it. So if you click it now, you see I've got that red band. Now, obviously, that red band means there's something in that region. If I click one of the others, I get the red dot, and that's easier to scan down. But I'm going to go for the red band just to show because it threw me out when I first found it. So I found that red band. What you want to do is you want to get your middle probe into that area. So what, ho hover over it till it goes blue. Click your shift button, and then as you move, all of your probes move at the same time and keeping your formation. I'll put it in the middle of that red circle. And then I'm going to rotate around to make sure it's central, and that's just clicking and, and dragging around. Wait till it highlights blue, click shift, and just pull it down a bit. Okay, so I've got that. I'm then going to reduce the size of the area that I'm scanning slightly. So you can either do that by highlighting your probes, right clicking, and changing the scan range, 
or you can just go onto one of them and you see highlights as soon as that happens press shift and drag it down a bit and you'll see they'll all come down now you see because i've done that we've lost that overlap i don't want to lose that just yet so i'll bring that back to there and we'll leave it at that point there so again hit analyze and let's see what comes up Okay, now the red circle's over there, now that's a different one, as you see that one was the OFZ one, I was looking at the W10 and it's now found it and given me this red dot, so first thing I do is get my probes all sort of around that area, we can see if you rotate around where they are in relation to it, so let's get the middle one, press shift, drag it down, and just rotate around to check, now you'll see that this goes off view and it's not central anymore, the easiest way to do this is press command as it is on my keyboard on a Mac and move the whole thing to the center or if you know which probe it is and you have to mess about with this once you highlight the probe number I'll zoom in a little bit so I've got that see that's just changed from that cursor to that cursor double click and there you go it centers it for you so that's the easiest way to do it you may have to zoom in or out to be able to get the cursor to change I'm going to zoom out a little bit and as I zoom in actually you can see that that's now moved further away from that probe so i want to get it as close as i can wait till it turns blue click shift and drag all your probes nearer to that dot come back out i'm now going to reduce the scan i'm going to drop it down to 16. okay and i've lost the overlap you can see that now there's no overlap of those probes you must have them overlapping particularly on the area that you're scanning so just highlight any one of them anywhere you like he says, right, there you go, it's gone blue now, and then click Alt and drag it down. You must be clicking the icon, you can see the overlaps are coming, and boom, there you go, they've now got that overlap. So I've got the two ellipticals, one there and one across there. So that's overlapping that area. Let's hit the analyze button. Remember, it's W10 that I'm trying to scan down, and let's see where we're at. Okay, so W10 is now at 1.88%, which is still very poor. So I'll click on that one alone so it removes all the other from my overview. I'm going to drag my probes up to that area. I'll rotate it around. I'm now going to zoom right in. And look, I've lost the central. I know that probe 8 is the one I want, and you can see I'm struggling to get this cursor to stay. So zoom out. Probe 8 centers it. And then I can zoom in again. And as you see, if I'm zoomed right in, you can see that that whole thing has moved. So you can move that up by waiting until it turns blue. Remember to press shift so all of your probes move. Move it up nearer to that. Rotate, click and rotate the screen round any way you like. Again, get it on point. And remember to press shift so you've got them all in. Okay, I'll come back out now. I've still got that overlap. As you can see, I've got the overlap there. And if I rotate the screen round, you can see that whole area is overlapped. So we should now get a slightly better signature. Let's see what happens. So it's W10832 at 1.88. So let's have a look at that. Again, very much dependent on your skill level as to how accurate you're going to be on this. Okay, so W10 has now only gone up to 2%. And you see it's moved a little bit. So this time... And there are people that are much quicker at this than me. This is a bit of an idiot's guy, but I thought, well, I'm learning, I'll show others. Highlight it, drag it down to position. And this time, what I'm going to do is bring them right down, and I'm going to bring the scan range down to 8. Now, again, you can see I've lost the overlap. There it is sitting there in the middle. Before I do anything, I'm just going to drag that across. Remember to press Shift to move all your probes. And then I'm going to bring the probes in. So highlight any one of them, click Alt, and drag in, and create your overlap. There you go, there's my overlap again. And hit the Analyze button. So let's see if we can get that up from 2% to something more realistic that we can work with. Okay, W10 is now 3.69%, which is, this is proving very difficult to scan out, and it's not moving very quickly, but that's okay, because it means it's normally it's something pretty decent if it's harder to scan. So let's get those probes back central, clicking shift, highlighting it blue, click shift, click on it, and move that central probe to your red dot 
again rotate your screen because as you can see I thought I was on it but I'm not so again highlight an arrow click shift and drag it across okay this time now I'm going to bring those probes down in fact I'm going to scan it at the same level just for now just to see if we get any better signature before I bring the probes down you can move the probe down sooner but you tend to find that you'll lose things pretty quickly and I don't like doing that okay we are now up to four percent so let's we're going to try and make this happen a bit quicker now so we've worked out well now i've just accidentally made one probe much smaller than the others if that happens right click scan rank and make all your probes there. this time i'm going to make them all eight okay so let's move up to that one get that in position okay i'm going to drop that scan range down to four Remember, they must all be highlighted for to work on all of them. There you go. You see, I've lost the overlap again now. So let's get that overlap back on. Oh, wrong button. Press Alt for moving all your probes in. Let's go again. Okay, now we're up to, you can see, W10 is up to 8.67. So leaving the important probes at the same size, I'm going to get them centred down onto the red dot. I'm just rotating them around to make sure I'm as near as damn it to it. And I'm going to reduce those again because this is a difficult one to probe out. So let's go down to two. Again, always remember to bring that overlap in. Now, we may lose this. And if we do, that's good because I'll show you what to do. So highlight one. Press Alt. Drag them in, get that overlap on. And if you zoom in, it's not, they're not as close as you see down there. You can see we've moved out of there. So let's get that one over. As I zoomed in. And that was probably the problem. I wasn't zooming in enough to give me uh, close enough to the... Red dot. So let's have a look, see how we get on there. While we're doing that, I'm just going to double click on probate to centralize it again. Well, we're getting there, it's up to 18.64. So let's this time remember to stay zoomed in and you might have better results a bit quicker. Okay, I'm going to look for probate to centralize it again. Zoom in a bit more, see how far off I'm right in, zoomed in as pretty much as far as I can get now. And I'm just going to drag that onto there. And I'm now going to reduce that even further because I'm fed up of messing about with this now. Right, work two, let's go down to one. And again, remembering, oh, I've already got the overlap there. So that's quite an accurate overlap. You can see you've got it there and there. So let's try it out and see what we've got now. Remember, we had 18.64. This should improve it. Let's see. Okay, there you go. So, so we've got a magnetic site. That's not a gravimetric, that's a magnetic. So let's see what that is. You can see that red dot's now been replaced by the little yellow cursor here. It's 34 AU away from where I am. Um, I'm now going to drop the probes on that and see if they can't work that out. So bring the probes up to the general area. Zoom it in. Oh, lost it. Right, I'm going to get central. Click on probe 8. It'll be probe one when you first send your probes and each time you send them out that number goes up by however many probes you've got out. Let's try and get this scanned down a bit better. This could very well be a wormhole, I think, off the top of my head. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, I'll uncenter on that now. Center on probe eight again. Now look, I can't select that, it's getting confused, so I'll zoom in a bit. Double click and it's centralized. I'm going to come out and I'm actually going to reduce these now. Then they're all highlighted, remember. I'm going to bring that down to half an AU. And this time, what I'm going to do is bring them an overlap again, highlighting any one of them, and pressing Alt to bring them in. And you can see they're getting really close now. Let's see what this brings out. Now, I reduced local because I didn't want to plot the screen but please keep an eye on that because you could end up dead okay 
pristine Sancha collision site, <coughs> excuse me, at 96%, which is pretty damn good. I'm just going to move that across. I'm now going to take this down to the lowest it can go on the scam range, which is 0.25 AU. It's got that overlap still there, but I'm still not happy that we're bang on it. So let's just move that across. And then let's scan that out. It's important when you do this as well to make a note of what code you're scanning down because I have in the past wasted time going on. Okay, so you've got it. We found it. You see it's turned green now, that little icon, and it's at 100%. So you can right click it, save the location. Yeah, there you go. Boom. And if you're nice, you can save it for your core mates. So that's scanning. A little long winded. You can get it down quicker, and it's all about practice. Um, if you lose it all of a sudden for some unknown reason, Go back, recall your probes, launch them, and try again, and you will get better and faster with time. Thanks very much. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped. Take care.